right, so we're down at the shop today. The weather's nice. A uh, little bit, a little bit of work on the edge of the parking area. Uh, cut it through with the LS tractor. Tractor's working great. Um, but today, um, we're going to do a little swap of the uh, tilt bucket on the sandy and go over there and clean the edge of that up. Um, anyway, stay tuned. Uh, beautiful day. Sun is shining. Um, can't wait for the warm weather. So got the bucket here. We're going to get it in a position with the thumb um, where we can actually get that bucket off. I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure, pull the pin out. One thing I wanted to mention, I've always had trouble with this. On the sandy, if you have pressure buildup in the lines, you saw there I cut the uh, unit off. And basically, if you move the thumb control with a switch on, so I'm going to turn the switch back on. I don't know if it'll fall anymore or not. see that fall there um, you can actually release the pressure uh, using that to get your other attachments uh, reconnected um, just a tip makes it a lot easier to connect up your uh, accessories um, the tilt buckets there and uh, I'm gonna release the pressure to get the tilt bucket connected and then I can just use the um, through a valve up there on the front get the thumb back up and then uh, switch over to the tilt tilt bucket anyway quick tip on how to easily do the sani um, hydraulic connections Okay, so I, the one thing I like about this, um, this is real easy to swap out. If you put just a little bit of pressure, especially after you've got it worn in a little bit, attachments come on and off. Uh, so what I was referencing before about making it easy, so we've got our thumb all the way up. When we flip these around, um, that's gonna keep the thumb up, but I can go back in and turn the ignition key to on, don't crank the tractor, move the control both left and right, and that'll release the pressure on these. And that'll make it a lot easier to get this uh, tilt bucket connected up to the hydraulic connections. I've got one there going this direction, one on the back side. Uh, if you've ever wrestled these before, they're tough. Uh, a lot of skid steers have like a button or something that you can mash on the sandy. It's just to have the ignition on, no hydraulic pump flowing. Um, and basically you wanna thumb right and then thumb left. Anyway, we're gonna get this connected up and uh, go here and try to clean this bank up some. Okay, so we've uh, flipped both of our valves around. Now the thumb is basically tied off hydraulically. It's not gonna fall down, not gonna move. Um, we're gonna get in the, in the uh, sandy here. And basically what you wanna do, make sure that you turn the key on. 
turn the fan down here so we can hear. Um, so basically, it's like we're we're ready for operation. We've got our thing down. We've got uh, our ignition switch on, and we're gonna go left, right, and you can hear. You kind of can hear that release the pressure. So all the pressure that was had us bound up from uh, connecting that up easily is now released. So it should just be a matter of popping those connectors in with no issue. So that's the, definitely the no hassle way of doing it. A lot less effort. Uh, pretty much just stab it in. You don't have to worry about fighting it or trying to poke it to release pressure. So basically it releases all the pressure here. One thing I'll recommend as well, before you take this back off, release that pressure on this. If you don't, you disconnect this, hoses sit out in the sun, you end up with a lot of pressure on this side. So basically if you just remember to relieve the pressure every time you disconnect the device, it'll save you a lot of hassle the next time you wanna connect up. We're gonna get over here in position. It's kind of gonna be a, a pretty big reach, but I think I can get to all the area that I cleaned out. You can kind of see there. Um, basically, just cut the cut the uh, road just a little bit further this way. Um, really messing with the drive section but this bank that comes up we're going to scooch over to the edge and uh, just clean that up some um, and then I've, I've already seated most of it except for the bank side and we'll get some seat on it but basically I'm going to take kind of right where my fingers at on the camera I'm going to cut that grass back up uh, and smooth that out the way it's a little bit easier to mow and easy a little, little bit easier to take care of Okay, so we got a lot of that cleaned up. You can kind of see there, I kind of raked over the edge. I did uh, the bank, you know, as you mow, um, kind of the, there was like a little bit of a fill area that I needed to get in there. Um, got in that and got that filled in as we backed up, trying to rake as much of the grass off. Uh, most of the organics, I kind of just left laying on the bank there. Um, so now we're gonna grab the LS uh, without the shanks down, box blade this a time or two just to get uh, this smoothed down and try to pull as many rock, rocks out as we can. Um, and that should uh, have this ready for seed. It's supposed to rain in the next day or two. Uh, and this should be growing surely within the next few weeks. Uh, using a little bit of contractor mix. Got some rye in there. A few weeks it'll be growing. I think we have one more cold spell left. Um, so that's basically uh, kind of a pointer on the tilt bucket, kind of what you can do with it. Um, 15 minutes on this project. I wasn't trying to finish grade this, uh, mainly because I mow it with the rotary mower anyway, with the exception of this section here, and I'm gonna use the box blade to smooth that out. Um, it's a lot faster to try to do it, to use the box blade than it is to try to use the uh, tilt bucket. Um, but hopefully that gives you some pointers and shows you how to relieve the pressure uh, on your attachments for the Sani. Um, it makes uh, definitely connecting the rotary up a lot easier and this tilt bucket. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.